This is Richard. Richard, what did you bring? I brought a little coil of wire. And where did you bring it from? From Cincinnati. And where are we? Somewhere in Nevada. Yeah, Nevada, secret laboratory in Nevada. So this is the this is the day where we are one more day and we'll be prepped. So yeah. this is a, a a quick update, brief update video, probably number three of the uh, J W N project. <laughs> yeah. So we uh, we have a massive coil that was hand wrapped by Richard. How many turns? One hundred eighty thousand. How much? Wire approximately 94.3 pounds, according to our math, and um, it's 30 AWG. Yeah, 30 AWG, and it is a massive coil 50, 54 or 56 miles of wire. 56 hand wrapped. How long did it take you? Over three days. Uh, yeah, that would be constant though, but realistically, it took you oh, like uh, about a week and a half. Yeah, I don't know, but three straight days of winding. Yeah, and, and with the reason that we quit. He quit because the coil wasn't built yeah, strong the enough, and we were enough, yeah. very concerned about it blowing the sides off. So see, we just the left ends it. Started curling out. Yeah, you can you can see them. I don't want to get too close to that magnet, but yeah, so yeah. so this should be enough wire, and this is a close enough replication for what we're doing. So we got the magnets. Um, I'm gluing up the commutator. Uh, still haven't finished this thing. That video is number one, and I haven't finished it yet for this video. But we'll but we'll finish them up. It's an awesome commutator. So we are just uh, briefing the update here, and we'll continue. I'm going to go get some more equipment. Yeah. Thumbs up, Richard, for driving how many? 2,000 miles? 1,950. Okay, 2,000, <laughs> close enough. 2,000 freaking miles to bring a coil to the secret lab in Nevada so that we can get this project done by, like, literally tomorrow. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right, well, we'll see you in a little while. All right. Oh, I turned on the video on accident, so we'll start. This is just an update video on the JWN project. Uh, it is 12.29 Friday. What time is it? It's 7 o'clock. Me and Richard are here still. And uh, yeah, I just want to give you a quick update of what we did, where we're at, and what's going on. I don't think I had the date and time the last time, so I'll throw it in there. But yes, uh, we have the live stream running. It's actually not on. I just wanted to show you what we got. We got the scope shot and a few other cameras. The scope shot is actually here, so we just happen to have a TV here. Richard brought his camera and we got USB extension. Richard went and got that, so we got that hooked up to the scope. Um, and I need to finish setting this up. I literally just turned it on just to have it on. Um, so the rest of it's here. Now, what I haven't documented well is that, so I'll do that in a second. But, still haven't finished this video. And uh, I just want to give you a quick update on the commutator. So. Got that guy done. I fixed fixed it up. Got 1010 on this time. Now I'm going to go finish this. Little ones. And I've been practicing trying to take them. I've had some serious troubles. But um, I, w I was able to get it to, to work under a high power. Uh, I don't really like the high power because I don't like the extra heat. But it worked. And uh, we'll get it to work. So this thing real quick. I'm going to stay back from this due to the fact that it... Uh, it's gonna really ruin everything but uh, you can see the magnet in there so the magnet is connected to the shaft there's a set screw in there on the other side of this guy I got a wood set so it doesn't uh, fall out this way and then on this side we'll have the we'll have the commutator this is a, like a bushing for here that'll be about like that and then the only thing we need to finish is uh, the brush holder um, Richard will probably connect the coil. We'll get the scope finished, set up, get our probes. Um, Richard had brought a bunch of batteries. We pulled out all the Rayo Vacs, so we've got enough to do a little bit of work. They are half dead, so they're perfect for this project because that way we actually can see the charging effect on the batteries. Because if they were full batteries, we'd probably damage them, but if they're half, then I don't know if that's either going to be a good thing or a bad thing. So, yep, that's my update. We'll press forward. we got a lot to do. And, uh, well, I don't know if we'll get results tonight, but we're going to get results tomorrow, and it might be early, early in the morning. Look at that smile. <laughs> this boy drove 2,000 miles across the freaking country just to see his work. 
And that smile tells you he's ready to see it. I am too. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm ready. He's ready. I'm, I'm tired. Drinking my Red Bull, which I should not. But I found it in the fridge and I thought, why not? Let's do it. So yeah. Let's get started. See you guys in the next update. Hmm. One step at a time. I'm gonna let it run. All right, so welcome back to the the demo. So I'm gonna let the camera run, and I'll either cut pieces out of this, or it's just for the heck of it. So right now, what we're gonna do, it is uh, the next day. It's almost 1 a.m. on the 30th, 12.30, 2017, almost 1 a.m., 11.50 to be precise. We've got the scope hooked up. I got it comfortably calibrated. We're just taking some generic measurements here. Um, I got one current probe. I got an open set of leads. And we're just going to spin the motor, capture some screenshots. Um, we're probably not even going to capture them. We're just going to see what they look like. And then we'll move on to something different. But right now, we're going to see what we got. Ready? Yeah. Alright, so spun by hand, nothing across it that was not there, just open-ended um, measuring at the terminals where the batteries were connected. Spinning it by hand, this is what the uh, scope looks like. So you can see basically every single half revolution, you got about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then reverse. So that's each one of the pulses on the commutator. So that is every one of the brass connections there. Ten on each side, 20 total connections. So that's the induced voltage from the magnet. And it's about, uh, you know, minus 900. Pretty, pretty high. Realistically, it's pretty wild. So anyway, now we're going to um, put a 15K. 15K resistor across here and see if there's any current flowing in any direction just to see what we got. Okay, so let me show you where we're starting. We're starting out with four 9-volt batteries. We have here the um, current and voltage probes and um, these are the Fluke 78. They're 200, pretty pretty good, about as good as a 200 megahertz oscilloscope. Refresh rate of this is, I don't know, six times a second or more, something like that. It's quite, quite fast. Um, so the scope, we have just one current probe right now, the blue trace, and the yellow trace is on the um, batteries as well. So we got a current probe here, this is on the negative. The current probe there is also on the negative. Okay, and then, uh, then yeah, that's our setup. So we're starting out with four, we're going to try to get our polarity matched, get a few screenshots, and just kind of hopefully see, uh, see that we got everything connected correctly. So here we go. Okay, we're rolling here. Okay, quick update. We plugged in the batteries, verified that the position of the commutator is okay. Now we can adjust it advanced or back, but it's aligned properly. All right, we got 781 volts. All right, I wrote it down. Matt, we got all our batteries right now. So we're out of batteries. You ready? Yeah. All right, it'll probably run. Here we go. Sure, like speed. Wow, that's a big arc. Jeez. Okay. So. Trying to get that timing right. Yeah. That's better. That's better. That's about where my bark is. That one better.
Yeah, it's definitely better. Look, it's still picking up speed. Uh, he t we hooked up the class and started running and Russ got scared and he turned it off. I was, yeah, I was yelling at him, we just got to go on and you're turning it off. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, it's not dangerous. <laughs> Did that little spark never hurt anybody? I used to draw. I used to draw. Oh, sorry. Oh. I can see your face. <laughs> what? Is your commutator surviving? I don't know. Commutator. Commutator. It'll burn the brushes in. Commutator. <laughs> Make better content. Potato, potato. <laughs> I can't believe how much difference that one little cat makes. Don't oh my it. goodness. You're going to knock something off. Uh, hey, can you move that chair back? Can you move that chair? Back? <laughs> <laughs> you that chair? Can't see. Uh, I got the camera set there. So yes, and I'm not in the way. <laughs> I understand that, but I'm not in the way. It's super yeah. wide angle and it was catching you. He just didn't like you seeing the side of your shoulder or anything. <laughs> Heaven forbid, me be in the camera. <laughs> You're probably the most beautiful thing in the camera, so. <laughs> no, I have not showered. <laughs> Daddy! What are you doing? Look at your kitty. Look at your kitty. Lily, what happened? Lily's crying. What's wrong, sissy? Look at your kitty. What's wrong? Why is your hair on my back? Wait, so I walk away and. Five seconds later. It's down. just. Chaos. Yeah. It's chaos. Yeah. I'm it's so like they don't have uh, they don't have no comprehension how to be kind to one another. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's so frustrating. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. It's like making that thing move. Why is that wire thing moving so bad? Um, the magnetic effect. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. It's only this leaf. It's only this one that's arcing. That one's not arcing. Oh. I wonder if we can get an arcing one to turn around. Oh, that's not too good. Oh, that's not too good. That one's not a mouth of any more. Mm-hmm. Good. That's nice. You can look at the mama right there. Mm-hmm. It's like a lamp. It's really fast. Whoa! Now it's going different. crazy. Yeah. Why? I wonder why that one's arcing and the bottom one isn't. Is it because of the polarity? Look at it, honey. That is so crazy. Should we turn it off and try to adjust it a little bit, or do you want to just let it rock? Let it rock. Cool, honey. What? Yeah. Look at that. Thank you. 